Hey Sagittarius and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your bi-weekly love reading for now until the end of December 2018. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if this message doesn't fit, make sure you check out all your other signs. All right. Let's see what our Sagittarius have going on for the next two weeks. I'm ready here. Okay. Okay. Well, that's way too many. Three cards for Sagittarius, please. Okay. The Nine of Cups. The Seven of Swords. And the Six of Swords. The person you are dealing with is the Six of Cups. The Sun. And the Ten of Pentacles. Your guys' outcome for the next two weeks. Is the Five of Pentacles, the Tower in Reverse, and the Ace of Cups. Your guys' shared energy is the Lovers in Reverse, the Four of Shields in Reverse, and the Fool. All right, let's see what your guys' angel card is. Romance Angels, one card for our Sagittarius. Okay, retreat. So disconnect from the world. Bottom of your deck is reconciliation. So someone from your past is coming back for you. Um, but time away or time to disconnect from the world and decide where you want to go from here and what you expect out of that person is needed this week. So we'll start with your shared energy. So you're dealing with somebody who had a choice in love. Um, or you are the one that had a choice. Um, it is in reverse, so no choice is be being made. Um, you are no longer wanting to invest your time or your energy into something or someone that is not choosing you, or um, you are refusing to choose somebody because you don't know who to invest in. One or the two. Um, either way, you're starting on your own journey. You're um, taking that leap of faith within yourself. Um, whether somebody comes with you or not, you're ready just to start fresh, start new. Um, the new year brings in new beginnings for you guys. Why is the Nine of Cups here? You guys uh, could be... Um, well, let's get a clarifier for that before I go too far. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Thank you. The Princess of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Thank you. The Six of Pentacles. And the Six of Swords. Okay, way too many cards. But this tells me you're um, not communicating with your soulmate right now, which makes you feel like everything you've hoped and prayed for is being lost. Um, because there's some uh, not uh, some negative energy going on, some or not negative energy, but some uh, some negative thoughts. You're just you're uh, planting negative thoughts in your own mind because you're not hearing from somebody that you had hoped to be hearing from by now. So <clears throat> you do have the nine of cauldron here, which you see the guy in the back, in the very back is passed out in his chair. So there could be some overindulgence going on right now. We are in the holiday season where there's lots of parties and lots of social events. Um, you could be uh, socializing a little too much. But this person is um, is uh, keeping an eye on you with the Prince of Swords. They're going to come in very quickly after they have healed from this Nine of Cups energy. So 
either you are the one overindulging and needing some time to retreat to get treatment for some of you. Um, but after you're out of that treatment phase or retreat phase, I mean, um, you're going to move forward and open up communication with them very quickly or them to you. These energies can be vice versa. Um, there, like I said, there is some self-sabotaging thoughts going on in relation to somebody who is, um, sharing their energy with more than just you or you have two people, but there is uh, you can tell that they are either investing in someone else as well, or you have two people. But in this time of not communicating with each other, in this time of not making a choice, there's a lot of self-sabotaging thoughts, um, doubt about the future with this person. You are moving forward, and I just love the two of these together. The Six of Swords with the Fool. You're moving on from this rough situation from the situation where you had a lot of emotional turmoil over this person and you are setting out on your own, taking a leap of faith with your future, moving forward in a positive direction. Whether they end up coming with you or not, you don't care anymore. You are just getting out of this emotional uh, rough waters and setting out on a new beginning with yourself. However, I do feel they will join you on this journey. Your person has the six of cups, so they feel you are a soulmate. They feel you um, have been together many lifetimes before. You have a connection unlike any other. They have the sun. So their path is being illuminated on how to bring them towards you. Um, up to this point, there could have been some fear um, as the sun is a Leo card, as is the strength card. So um, before they could have feared moving forward. And now their path is being illuminated for them to face their fears. It's also showing them a clear path on how to get back to you. Um, you could be in, you are in separation from this person, from the, this situation that I am reading. They are finding the courage to walk the path that they're meant to walk um, in the way that they are meant to do it. And it is leading them back to you, their soul, your soulmate. Their next card out is the sun as well. So, um, same thing. They are their past being illuminating, illuminated, and they are finding the courage. Wow. They are finding the courage to go on this journey with you. They are finding the path to least resistance to you to um, start this new beginning. That's so awesome. You both have the six of swords moving towards each other. Um, and this is going to be um, a, a cause for celebration. Um, they are leaving the third party and coming towards you. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Too many. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for Sagittarius's partner? Strength. They are finding the strength to end a cycle with a family. Um, could be somebody like a spouse or somebody they have a long-term connection with or their family is not wanting them to move forward, but they are finding the strength to face their fears, to let the cycle end and to move into the fool. This comes in right underneath your six of swords and fool. They are ending a cycle and finding the strength to um, take this journey with you. Very heavy Leo energy here, by the way, very heavy Leo um, otherwise we got water and earth so far. They're real. They, this has been really hard for them to move forward away and allow the cycle to end. You see, um, in the, t this card, she has nobody that she is standing next to. They are like separated. So she is ending the cycle with, uh, this family situation that she's dealing with. Finding the courage to set out on her own path. Your guys' outcome for the week. Or the next two weeks, I'm sorry. You have the Five of Shields. The Tower in Reverse. The Ace of Cups. So, um, you really feel like this person... Uh, wow. You really feel like this person left you out in the cold. Because they wouldn't, uh, they wouldn't set out on this journey with you. 
they were um, scared to leave the person that they are currently with due to financial reasons. Um, but you really felt like they deceived you and abandoned you because they are not, they were not setting out in search of the two of cups with you. This tower has already happened. This is a thing of the past because um, it's in the reverse. Uh, let's see why the tower is here. The king of cups. So um, they refuse to uh, acknowledge their feelings in the past for you. But with this tower already coming down, they are now allowed to feel or allowed to follow their heart with the king of cups. So um, the tower had to happen in their life in order for them to follow the path um, with the person that they uh, feel they were meant to follow it with. And they're no longer allowing their thoughts to hold them back. They had a lot of uh, back and forth thoughts. So they could have had a lot of back and forth energy with you, like hot, cold, yes, no. Today I'm all in, tomorrow I'm I don't know. Yeah, so... Uh, Clarifying the Ace of Cups, a new emotional beginning, um, letting go of all the past emotions and starting over fresh with an overabundance of joy, love, um, just new beginnings in a divine um, manner. And it's being clarified with the lovers and the Ace of Swords. And as you've seen in the beginning of this two weeks, no one was making a decision. By the end of the two weeks and your outcome, you have a new emotional beginning with this person because they are choosing love and they're coming forward with truth and clarity. Um, they're also in the next two weeks finding that the divine is bringing them out of this cloud of confusion. They are um, allowing them to see clearly now what lover they want to choose and they choose to only offer this one cup and set out on this new beginning with you because you're both moving to out of the rough waters that this relationship has experienced, leaving behind old lovers and starting over fresh, starting over new, taking that leap of faith together. And, um, it's, it's going to take being in this retreat, um, taking a step away and disconnecting from the world in order for the divine to, um, open their eyes to this clarity to lift them out of this fog and it will be successful because it is crowned by the divine and um will be based on truth and yeah just truth and love and commitment and faithfulness and your guys's card and advice for the next two weeks is the spiritual dancer circular through and perception so thought is everything. If you believe they're coming back, they will come back. They will choose you. Be the half full, uh, the glass half full people because your path. And I said this to someone else got this card too. Your path of healing is never a straight route. You guys may feel like you're going in circles with these people. You may feel like you're going in cycle after cycle, but you are, um, heading up the mountain. You're not just going in circles. You're going up and around. Um, once you learn that lesson, you rise to the next one and then the next one. And the destination is the same. This person will come to you um, for a reconciliation once you both get to the, uh, the destination that you're meant to be together. So keep the faith. Don't doubt. Don't doubt your path. Don't doubt your journey. And this person is going to move towards you as you are to them. So... Sagis, I hope you have a beautiful next two weeks. Happy holidays for those of you who celebrate. Um, and I will see you guys next year. So have a good Christmas. Have a good New Year's. And I will see you next time. Love, light, and God bless.